In this video, we're going to explain everything you should know about virtual instructor-led training and how it can keep learners connected to facilitators. Hi, I'm Maria Pappas, Senior Instructional Designer at Roundtable Learning. Are you looking for a convenient and flexible way to train your employees? Here at Roundtable, we have the experts and resources to guide you towards the right learning solution. Today, I'll be talking about what virtual instructor-led training is, the different types, and how it can be used for your organization. VILT, or virtual instructor-led training, is when a facilitator is leading a remote training class through whether it's Zoom, GoToMeeting, something remote. A webinar VILT is when there's one facilitator and many participants. And in a webinar, typically there's polling, voting, even video conferencing within that. So one-to-one -one VILT is when there's one facilitator and one participant. This is very similar to a one-to-one -one training or even a peer-to-peer -peer training. A small group VILT is one facilitator and then a, a small group of learners, typically maybe from three to five. Oftentimes it's used for smaller teams learning a new process or a new task. A workshop VILT is when participants come and they are learning a new software or again, a new task. It's very similar to a bring your own device in an instructor led. They're gonna walk away and have practice time to work on a project. A lot of times too, it will require some homework and then maybe follow up in the next session. A virtual classroom VILT is very similar to like a lecture. So typically there's no polling or video conferencing or any type of voting. Participants are muted, so they, they are just watching the facilitator lecture, potentially showing videos, but there's very limited, if any, interaction between the facilitator and the participants. When you're converting ILT to VILT, there are some hurdles and challenges, especially with hitting all the goals. Typically, only 66 to 75% of the original material can be covered in a VILT session. And that's because there's not that opportunity to see that organic communication within the group, or also being able to stop and kind of take a look around and read the body language of the group. In VILT, a clear goal is even more crucial. And the reason for that is the time is typically much more limited and the learning needs to be focused and can't really deviate, again, because of the limited amount of time. So the goal has to to be clear and the facilitator is responsible for ensuring that that goal is met. Another challenge of VILT is Zoom fatigue. One way to eliminate that is to offer participants breaks. Involve them as much as possible. Instead of just lecturing at them, allow them to go into a breakout room and do a teach back. If they miss some information when doing the teach back, you just fill in the blanks for them as a facilitator. But making them as active as possible, using polls, and also you want to make sure the sessions are as short as possible. So instead of having a two hour session, maybe you have two one-hour sessions. In terms of VILT, Roundtable, again, can offer you everything. Typically, when we facilitate webinars, we offer a producer, which is somebody who is there to help and identify any technical issues so that the facilitator can focus on the facilitation. We see ourselves as an extension of your team because we want it to be your voice, not Roundtable's voice. So we work very closely with you to ensure that we're, we're hitting that mark. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out our article on converting instructor-led training to virtual learning. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Training and Development channel for more videos on all things learning solutions.